in today's gear motor tips from Bodine Electric Company, we'll demonstrate how to inspect and replace brushes and springs on Bodine type 33A and 42A permanent magnet DC gear motors and motors. First, we have to remove the two brush caps. Each PMDC motor has two plastic brush caps that are held in place with screw threads. Unscrew the brush caps using the largest possible slotted screwdriver or a 3 quarter inch hex wrench. The brushes are retained by constant force roll type springs. To remove a spring, first locate the flat part of the spring which points outward. Then grasp the flat part of the spring with a pair of long nose pliers. There is a hook at the other end of the spring that must be disengaged from the bottom edge of the brush box. Press inward on the spring to unhook the spring. Repeat the procedure for the spring on the other side of the gear motor or motor. Next, we inspect the brushes. It is not necessary to disconnect the brush wires just to inspect the brushes. Insert a small screwdriver under the brush wire and pull the brush out of the brush box. Measure the length of the brush from the point where the wire merges with the brush to the end of the brush that contacts the commutator inside the motor. Brush wear rates vary depending on the individual application's duty cycle and should be inspected at frequent intervals to determine an appropriate inspection schedule. Brushes for Bodine type 33A or 42A motors should be replaced before the total length is less than 0.375 inches or 9.5 millimeters. Repeat the inspection procedure for the other brush. If new brushes are required, get the Bodine motor type and serial number from the motor nameplate and then visit our website to look up the brush and spring part numbers via our support page search tool. You can purchase brushes from an authorized Bodine distributor or directly from our website at www.bodine-electric.com. To remove old or worn brushes, use a medium-sized slotted or Phillips screwdriver. Loosen the screw that holds the brush wire by four turns. Do not remove the screw. Slide the brush wire terminal out from under the holding screw head and remove the brush. Repeat this procedure for the other brush. As brushes wear, carbon dust will accumulate inside the motor end shield over time and should be removed periodically. With both brush caps and brushes removed, carefully use a shop vacuum with a small nozzle to vacuum out possible brush dust deposits through each of the open brush cap holes. We advise against blowing compressed air into the motor. Now that the motor is cleaned out and the old brushes are removed, we'll proceed to installing the new set of brushes and springs. Position the terminal of the new brush fully under the screw head on the brush box and tighten the screw. Next, observe that there is a slot in the base of each brush box. Position and insert each brush so that the wire attached to the brush aligns with the slot in the brush box and can feed into the brush box slot as the brush wears down. The brush wire must be capable of moving freely in the slot. Before installing the brush springs, we need to inspect them to make sure they weren't damaged during their removal. If they are uncoiled or otherwise damaged, the springs need to be replaced as well. In general, we recommend to replace both brushes and springs as a set. To install the brush springs, grasp the tip of the spring bracket such that the coil of the roll type spring will be on the brush side of the brush box and resting on the brush. Push the spring bracket slowly into its slot while letting its two attaching hooks slide down on the wall of the brush box. Once the hooks latch around the edge of the brush box, the spring is properly installed. Release the pliers. Make certain that the coil of the springs is centered directly on the brushes. With the brushes and springs in place, we can now reinstall the brush caps into the end shield using a large screwdriver or a 3 quarter inch hex socket. Mm -hmm. 
Reconnect the drive to the power source or DC motor speed control and test for proper operation. We hope you found our brush maintenance video useful. For additional information on our products or to contact us, please visit www.bodine-electric.com. Thanks for watching.